Hi there guys, Aaron here. Wanted to get another video out to you guys today. I wanted to review an app called uh, Spectacle. Uh, you can find it at spectacleapp.com and I can leave the link in the description for you guys. You can check it out. It's free. It's for Mac OS. It allows you to manage your windows. It helps productivity and efficiency. It's really helped me in a whole host of um, different projects I've worked on and just day to day I use it every single day. I try to install it on every single Mac that I use on a regular basis and it's just outstanding. It has allowed me to manage Windows uh, even before Mac OS included split screen but it also gives you more granular control over um, how you organize the windows, the sizing of the windows, and it gives you all this control right from the keyboard so you can use shortcuts without even taking your hands off the keyboard which is great for power users um, and regular folks alike. So stay tuned. I'm going to do some screen capturing so that you can uh, follow along. All right, and we're back. Um, it's been quite a while since I've done a screen recording, but I'm glad to uh, return to it and give you guys a little information on this excellent app that you can download today for your Mac. Uh, Spectacle app, of course. If you follow my mouse, you can see you go to spectacleapp.com. You can find the app. There's a little video that plays in the background to give you an idea of some of the, thing it's, some of the things it's capable of doing. Um, it's actually capable of more than is even demonstrated in this little demo video, um, but it gives you a basic idea. And so it is free, but I do recommend making a donation. It's an excellent piece of software. Um, and it does run on several versions of Mac OS. Now, even though you can use the built-in um, you know, split-screen mode in Mac OS, that's you know, the newer Mac OS versions, this gives you, like I said, more granular control, and it's a little bit more sophisticated, I would say. Plus, uh, working from the keyboard is a, is a nice advantage. It seems that the, one, the software that's built into Mac OS uh, seems to require the mouse. So anyway, let's get on to it. Um, of course, built into macOS are things like um, command tab for app switching. All right. There's also things, shortcuts like command and the tilde for switching windows in the same app. Uh, but this isn't really a shortcuts video. This is just showing you there are things you can do for window management, um, you know, things you can do to get the overall view like that. I think that's called expose. Um, but basically this gives you uh, really a lot more power. So anyway, you just click on Download Spectacle App and it'll download. In this case, uh, it's downloading to my desktop. That's where I have it to default to. You'd open up the package um, however you'd like to do that. You double click on it and it'll open up and literally all you do is you would double click on the app and I believe what's going to happen is it's going to ask you to uh, go into the settings your system preferences and give the uh, OK basically uh, for the program to uh, you know manage some of the system uh, you know the, the window management so it needs to get accessibility privileges so you would want to unlock this enter in your pass password uh, make sure you check off spectacle in this menu and then you can lock it again if you'd like alright anyway I'm going to minimize that alright um, then you'd want to drag this into your Applications folder, which I have right here, but I already have it in there. And then what you can do is, um, well, once you double-click on the app, it'll start up, and it'll appear um, as some spectacles right here, some glasses. And here you have a menu, and you can see the shortcuts that are available. This is if you really wanted to do it by hand with a mouse. Um, but this is a place where you can learn some of the shortcuts. Now, actually, in my other Chrome window, if I switch over there, you can see there's actually a page that talks about some of the shortcuts. But anyway, if you don't want to visit that page, you can just go up to the little menu with the glasses and you can look through this list. And you'll memorize them pretty quickly. Uh, my favorites are Command, Option, um, Left and Right Arrow. That allows me to move a window left and right. Um, and also I can do the same thing with Command, Option, Up and Down. It'll do split screen that way. You can do other sophisticated things like left, and if you keep holding down the uh, command option, hit left again, it'll go, I think that's sort of the two thirds, if you tap it again, one third, and then back to half. So there's all types of things you can experiment with and just play around with the program. You can see different modifications I'm able to do, and you can really stack a whole lot of these. Um, there's things you can do, not just with split screen, of course, right from the keyboard. 
you can do, let's say, command control right, and I'll do upper right. Command control shift right, we'll do lower right. And then the same thing for uh, upper left and lower left. Uh, if you do command, op uh, command control rather left, upper left, command control shift, lower left. And there's a whole uh, bunch of different shortcuts you can go through. You just want to click on the little spectacle um, in the toolbar, I guess you could say. I forget what this menu is called, but right up there uh, where my mouse is. And you can just go through these. And you can actually experiment. You can click on uh, one of these options to see what it does. And then once you do that, you'll say, oh, you know, I like that. I'm going to do that pretty frequently. So then you can just memorize this little uh, these commands over to the right, which I have. And so it's super convenient. Works on laptops, works on desktops. Like I said, different OSs. This is running uh, Mavericks, so this is on the older side. It's on an older computer, and it's still pretty responsive. I'm able to have uh, one program running on the right, one program running on the left, let's say. Um, if I were to open up my calendar or a different app, which I'm not going to do right now, let's say the App Store I can open up. Um, if I open up the App Store, I can actually snap that to the left quickly. Now, some apps don't snap perfectly. Um, they're just not optimized uh, all that well, but um, I can manage it well enough. And so um, I can just easily quit that, you know, switch windows, switch the focus of the windows, scroll here, look something up here. I can have a new window with things over here, right? I can go to google.com and I can just search something up here. So now I have three windows, a very unusual kind of setup. I can also do um, three different panels, one over here, one in the center, and one on the right. Um, so there's a lot of different management techniques that you can use. Um, but essentially, uh, it's used however you'd like to use it. And so um, it's up to you how uh, you like to customize your desktop, but this is a great tool that you can use. Make sure that you have it selected so that it will, if you go into preferences, maybe it's in there. Uh, make sure it's checked off launch spectacle at login because you want it to be available right away. Otherwise, um, these commands may start to um, activate different menu functions for individual apps, which we're not necessarily looking to do. All right, I'm going to return to the video format so we can uh, close it. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for today. Hopefully you found that informative. Do check out uh, Spectacle app. Uh, see how it can change the way you work, your efficiency, optimize your productivity, uh, all that. And you can actually leave in the description, not the description, rather, the, the comment section below um, how it has affected your life, uh, hopefully for the positive. And um, consider making a donation to them. They uh, write excellent software or at least they have written excellent software in this case. I don't know the people who made it, um, but they did a great job. And uh, I love it myself, so I definitely hope uh, that you can benefit from it. And until next time, don't forget to pursue your passions, pursue uh, what makes you happy, and uh, sign out and see you later.